Hello everyone, welcome back for the beginning of the third episode of House MD. I'm sure you're enjoying this just as much as I am, aren't you? He's taking your soul while I talk, by the way. Just, just thought you should know. Anyway. So remember, this is fraternity hazing episode. So anyway, this way. They say dressed in totally cheesy black robes and are heading into a bathroom. Trevor Vallot. 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 Name. And this, it is time. Seriously, it looks like he's in the bathroom. They're about to break in there. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm, I'm, I was not miss... Was not, uh... Seeing things incorrectly. Eddie, yes, sir. Bag him and tag him. Uh... What we'd want to do to this game. Anyway! And now he's in a basement. Where they've had a sacred ritual revealed to you. Complete every test sign. Initiation is almost at hand. Are you willing to spend the night in a coffin? In a coffin? Okay, I guess that symbolizes death and rebirth, or they just want funny things in coffin. I don't know. But he agrees to it. And he was apparently on the bathroom in the bathroom for quite a while. And he's got a pretty nasty rash there. Well, that kind of looks... Yeah, that's just press board. And he passed out. Skull and bones. And let's see, what was he undergoing? Paralysis? You know, that kinda... Not a ton, but just a little bit kind of looks like my dad. Heh. Just a vague resemblance. Eh, uh, let's see, the fact that anything ordinary happens from the arms paralysis. Just normal hazing doc. Do my hair, talk about boys, blah, blah, blah. He's about to haul off and punch house. Many people want to, you know, punch house, but... Including the makers of this game, apparently. Eh. Oh, let's see... So, we're gonna talk about boys being... He's going to vaguely insult sexualities here. And we need Fred Flintstone to shut up because of being a Neanderthal. And he also has very hairy arms. So, we begin, as always, with an investigation, examination, and let's see this, check for a fever, I guess, yeah, we found a fever, any other seizures, how about your diet? protein do you consume and that sounded dirty. Okay. Grilled chicken and egg white omelets. Adds plenty of protein. And is routine. Yeah. Okay, what was he doing? Working out, didn't feel coordinated, and almost dropped weight on his foot. Oh, let's keep looking, shall we? Can't use that. Guess we gotta use the light here. Nice. Oops. It's been dizzy. Since we were just looking at his eyes. Can you not see your dad's a douchebag? No history of eye problems? 
Okay. Other than the fact that you wear glasses. Recent issues. Yep, there we go. Had some tingling in his hands and felt weak recently. Okay. Well, let's see this. Look at his lips. Oh, look at the fact that he's been nauseous. History of paralysis. Nope. Even though I don't think Dad's going to be too for with any information there to us. Uh, let's see. Conditions? Conditions. Why not? For symbol to cast all in the family. Battling heart disease. Bull does come to mind. Okay. Thyroids for her. So let's see. We're done with the head. Chest. Yeah, we we'll want to get a look at that. This rash that apparently it spread. Hives. Just sports, huh? Okay. The other illnesses. Bad cold three weeks ago. Let's talk about that cold. Did he puke blood? No. Okay. He's running fever. 98 point kick ass. Just above normal. So what about your parents? Paper clips. Off supply store. Eh, yeah, house would like his whiteboards. Principal in Bergen County. Okay. Used to get to go down. Yeah, no. Well, let's see. Nothing else there. Probably sore stomach or something. Dude does work out, though. He has a pretty good six-pack going on. Let's see, his arms and hands were going off, so let's talk about the arms first. Still weak. And listen to his heart, I guess. Since paralysis is important. time paralysis has happened. Okay. So we're going to listen to his stomach. For diarrhea. You know, that doesn't seem like what we need the tool for. Oh well. So let's see. Have you been drinking? Yeah, just beer. Let's face it, we're dealing with a family of douche bros here. Hugging the porcelain god. Yeah. Let's see what happens if he has any alcoholism. Defensive about it, too. I could see that happening. Huge pizza. Even if we can cure the paralysis, he's probably still gay, I'm going to guess he's going to say. Oh, I still want to join a fraternity. Okay. Not a gay joke this time. We're a frat pin. The horror, the horror. Ah. Okay. House is ridiculous again.
still never too early to start drinking, huh? Paralyzed after he's locked in the coffin during initiation. You're going to want to drink for the stupid part. And he was wearing women's lingerie under his clothes. Could be part of the initiation ritual, yeah. And yes, probably still hilarious to house. And yeah, we're going to turn the differential into a drinking game based on mentioning women's underwear. Yeah, feeling he would want 13 to table dance. Foreman probably would too. Da, da, da. Let's sit in the arms. So let's play Guess the Words. Lead poisoning. I like the drawing of the model there. Doesn't explain anything except dizziness. Really. We get another one here. I have no idea what disulfuram is. Usually only affects children, though. Aside from the paralysis, it explains things. But we need the, you know, fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Ah, good reference. Anyway, cheapy. explains fever and paralysis but that's it botulism fits the symptoms and but the test came up negative Thing except the paralysis. Ah, so many references to one movie. that one. Hexacarbon neuroth neuropathy fits most symptoms. A minus. Time got me. Okay. Probably time and the fact that it took me way too long to answer some of those. But anyway, now that we know that we've got to go to hexacarbon neuropathy for our first eventual failure of a diagnosis, it's time to call this a video. When we return, more of this. Take care, folks. See you then.